Have you ever browsed online and come across ads that showcase USB condenser microphones and thought to yourself, thought about, do I need a USB condenser microphone? And you look around and you're like, maybe I do need a USB condenser microphone. In this episode, let's talk about two of those USB condenser microphones. What's up, what's up everyone, Drax here and welcome to Show My Random. And in this episode, as mentioned, we will be talking about two USB condenser microphones. Particularly, the Fantech Leviosa MCX-01. Leviosa, not Leviosa. And the rather unknown, or not so popular, JD-950. Also a USB condenser microphone. Let's go check the mic itself so just put away the box get the mic this is the Fantech Leviosa mic itself as you can see there is an RGB light that cycles it changes from one color to the other automatically you cannot set just one particular color no button that would do that okay up front, you have your mute button, you have your echo knob, and you have your gain knob. Most importantly for me is a 3.5 millimeter headphone port, right? So why did I choose this one among all the other USB condenser microphones out there? A couple of, re a couple of reasons, basically. RGB light to add color to my monotone space and a headphone port so that I can actually monitor the audio that's coming in on the mic. The good thing is this headphone port also doubles as an output audio port from your computer. So if you're listening to music or talking to somebody, you can hear it from this port. Okay, This is a condenser mic with a frequency response of 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz and a sample rate of 16 bits, 48 kilohertz. It's got a sensitivity of around negative 44 dB, plus minus 3 dB right there. And let's switch over to the mic so that you would hear how it sounds. Okay, so currently the gain is at 12 o'clock. Let's increase it a bit more. Check mic, check mic. One, two, one, two, one, two. So there, this is the, how it sounds like on its max. Hello, 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 hello. Right, so let's just keep it at 2 o'clock right there. Because since I'm talking to it really close. And I usually point it to the side so that, you know, plosives aren't too pronounced. Uh, plosives, and by, by plosives, I mean P's and so plosives like Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled pepper, right? So that's how the plosives would sound if you're talking directly to the front of the mic. And if you're like really up close and personal to the mic, this is how it sounds like. About six inches away from the mic, this is how it sounds like. So three inches away, three inches away from the mic, up front, on the side, 90 degree angle side. And this is how it sounds like from the back. Check mic, check mic, check. And then the other one, or uh, the other 90 degree side, and then back up front. Right. This mic comes, or the package comes with a mic mount right here. A 2.5 meter cable, USB type B, that connects to the mic, and then a USB type A that connects to your computer. What else? It also comes with a wind foam, or windscreen right there. So, you can put it right there. And then, so, Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. So, that's, it, it helps with the plosives. But, you lose, you know, your RGB light. Let's remove that. Uh, also, I'm not doing any filters. Also, I'm not reducing any noise. So, there's a fan out there and all the other outside noises that you might hear or that 
this mic mic or all of the mics here might pick up and this is how sound like the mute button is mechanical so when you press on it you will hear it right notice that the mic or the mute button also turns off the rgb light so that's a good indicator so if it's blue that means your mic is on your mic is on if there's no light on it that means it's off right okay there's also a, an echo knob as mentioned so check my check 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 right there so if you're if you're doing live streams or you like singing or whatever effect that echo may you may want to use it for so that one comes um, it comes handy uh the 3.5 millimeter jack or port um well how do i say this well the audio or or the gain knob that controls the mic volume also controls that headphone port so if you're just listening to music you can control it increase it decrease it that's fine but if you're talking to someone and the audio output might be a little harsh if you lower down the volume lower down the gain knob on your fantech leviosa it also affects the volume of your mic if you want to do youtube videos want to do voiceover for youtube videos some um, do comment down below and see if this one will work for you, right? Uh, say you've got a really low voice and this is how you would sound like in this microphone. Or you have a high voice and that's how it would sound like in this microphone. All right. So there. And that is the Fantec Leviosa. And we'll move over to the jd 950 this is the mic itself a pretty obscure mic well obscure because nobody really knows about this one much again you can't really find it anywhere else except for uh, well here in the philippines i found it from on air studio they've got a facebook page a lazada shop a shoppy shop and i got it from there and this one is priced at 1450 pesos philippine pesos the fantech leviosa depends on where you get it from so it's priced anywhere from one six to two thousand i think anything above two thousand is just overpriced i mean that's just my opinion anyway so this is the jd 950 it's still an rgb usb condenser microphone um the connectors are at the bottom so you got a usb type c going to a usb type a to your computer you can also do a usb type c to a usb type c if your computer has a usb type c connector or port you also have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack or headphone port sorry so that you can monitor how you sound from this microphone right up front you've got a light indicator right there a lady a v-ray button and what is this one for you can manually cycle through the colors green blue not sure if you can really see it but oh yeah blue light blue or teal yellow and then although it may look pink but it's actually purple there and then the last press would be it cycles automatically through the colors right let's just pick one okay so there underneath it is a gain knob right here that also that says mic it's actually a gain knob that also serves as a mute button so if you press on it, the whole thing turns red. You may see it as orange, but it's actually red. Right, and you can press on it again to unmute. Also on top is a soft touch mute button. Wait, wait, stop. 
there. So there you go. What else? You also have a volume knob and an echo knob. Okay, so this one is also a cardioid polar pattern. It also has a frequency response of 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. It has a sample rate of 48 kilohertz at 16 bits. And based on its documentation, it says it has an equivalent noise of 66 decibels, which is pretty high, but I don't think so. It's, it's not that. All right. So let's switch over to this mic so that you would hear how it sounds like. Okay, check, 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 check. This is about six to eight inches away from the mic. Right? And this is about three inches away from the mic. This is up front. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. This is at the side of the mic. At the back of the mic, check, 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 check. The other side of the mic, and then back up front, right. So this is, if you really want to get close and personal with the mic itself, this is how it sounds like. Doing the same thing at about six inches away, this is how the mouth, uh, the mouth, this is how the mic sounds, right? So the mic itself is pretty bright so if you're somebody who talks with a lot of s's, s's, s's uh, your sibilance would be really high so this is a very sibilant mic it's very bright right so if, if you're doing voiceover work and you might need to do something that's really low like uh, say an old guy who's <laughs> so that may not work it may not sound the way you want it to be, but for other car character work or other voiceovers that may require something that's happy or like, yay, really loud. This may, you know, kid's voice, teenager, or those anime characters, this may be good for you, right? It comes with, a, with its own stand. Because it's pretty much mounted on the stand. But you can unscrew it. And move it to a different mount if you want. However, it's it won't work on most like standard mounts right? this one. Like this. Because of the knobs. Actually, both of them won't work with standard mounts that are fully enclosed. So, you may want to choose or opt for something like this it's it's a mount that's pretty you know, it, it has an open face right here so that you can place uh, and this also got a clip clip it also has a clip right there that holds the mic in place and so the buttons would be up front right here and it's it's it will keep the mic in place right anything else about this mic well yeah if you do search on youtube about the jd950 you might come across an on-air studio version of a video for this mic um the volume knob right there does not control the volume of the mic the headphone port the 3.5 millimeter port acts as a headphone port for real-time monitoring that means you hear your voice and it also serves as an audio output from your computer the volume knob controls the real-time monitoring volume it does not control the audio output of your computer so if you want to increase or dec decrease the volume of your audio output, say you're playing songs from Spotify, you'd have to manually control it on your computer. The volume knob here will not do that for you. Okay, so this is actually your gain knob. And I'm not sure if you can see it, but there is a small arrow 
that that shows you where it's positioned right now it's at the 12 o'clock position and then if you so let me go back so if you move it to the minus part check 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 Check, 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 check. Right. So see, that's what I said. Um, I'm going to move the volume button or the volume knob. Check, 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 check. It doesn't affect it. So it's actually the mute button. The knob that serves as the mute button is also the one that controls your mic gain or mic volume one thing that th throws me off is that this is a rotary switch a uh, rotary knob that does not have an end and start it has um, an uh, an arrow but when you turn it it just goes all the way right or all the way left so be mindful when you're adjusting this knob just Take note as to where the arrow is pointing so that you'd know. Um, just, just manually check it so that you'd know that's pointing on the minus one or pointing at the plus side, right? Okay. So that's pretty much it for this review. Um, do leave comments as to which mic you think would work best for you. Uh, advantages, well, they're pretty much close to each other for, for, from my perspective. Um, it all depends as to how you want your voice to be delivered out or how your, how the mic treats your voice. Um, I do like the JD950's uh, single tap or s um, silent tap, soft tap mute button compared to the mechanical button that's on the Leviosa because it can be heard if you're going on mute or not, right? Also, um, the volume knob on the, on the, on the uh, Leviosa that controls both your real-time monitoring and your audio output is probably better now. I mean, that also throws me off because uh, I would want to monitor, continuously monitor myself uh, at certain times while being able to adjust through that knob uh, the audio out from, from my computer. On, on the JD950, you can adjust the monitor, like the volume of your headphone monitors. So real-time monitoring, but it does not affect the volume of the out audio output of your computer. So, I mean, they've got their downsides. They also have pretty nice, they're pretty solid. Uh, I'm not a fan of stand desktop mounts or tripods because like this one, very susceptible to uh, clicks and bangs, right? Okay, so that's it. I hope you like this video. Uh, if there are other things that you, other products that you may want me to do a review or an impression on, just leave me a comment or reach out to me if you want me to personally test a product that you own and and give me an, and let me give out an impression of it or for it, right? So that's it. Thank you very much. Don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button and the notification bell so that when I do upload a new video, you get notified, right? Don't miss out on anything. Stay safe, stay healthy, peace, and I am out.